I am Chris from down here at Yes Fitness with our 1.5 version of our Yes Fitness Longevity Podcast, where we're going to give you insight on how to get fit, feel younger, and live better. For those people who did um, check us out last time on Tuesday at 4.45, uh, I appreciate that, but I apologize. I hit the mute button on mic, so <laughs> the picture looked good, but there was no sound for the whole thing, so... We're going to just try to repeat what we said the other day and uh, and go from there. So um, the purpose of this podcast is just to get some information on there, out there on, you know, how you can just live better, how you can live longer, how you're going to feel better, how you're going to move better. Just, you know, live your, your last years of your life uh, better than maybe the first years. So today I have our Yes Fitness superstar, Jeff Vecdell, and Jeff is going to share his story with us of... Um, how it came about to come to Yes Fitness and how it's kind of changed his life. So, uh, Jeff, thanks for coming down here today and talking to us. I really appreciate it. The second time, of course. My pleasure. By yourself. Um, let's just start off with, you know, where were you in life when you first started Yes Fitness? What, what, you know, where were you at? What was going on in your life before you decided to come come on board with us? Sure. So um, uh, my 50th birthday was rapidly approaching. Um, you know, within a couple of months of, of me actually starting one of the programs here um, was probably in, in the worst shape of my life, probably the heaviest I'd ever been. Um, it was just at that point in my life where um, I was kind of using some lingering injuries from, from various activities in my, in my earlier years as really a, an excuse to, to not start an exercise program. So um, I kind of reached a point of um, frustration, or maybe my wife Kelly had reached that point of frustration with me, and uh, had encouraged me to to try to do something to get myself active uh, and, and fit. So uh, you know, I do remember that now. You know, I forgot that last time that yeah. you came on board. You had a bad shoulder. Yeah, and yeah. I was really, really worried about that when you came on board. That we we're going to be able to, you know, get a program going for you with with the shoulder problems that you have because the shoulder is so intricate in upper body moves, a lot of core moves, all you know, lower body actions, and. Uh, you know, I want to pat myself on the back for this one because we were able to do what we did, and your shoulder hasn't bothered you. Um, you know, there's still lingering stuff, right? It's it's by no means is it is it perfect, but again, yeah, we were able to do modifications to the exercises. I was able to stick with the routines and uh, and not do any further damage to it. So, um, what what made you decide to come on board with yes? Um, so I don't know how much of it was necessarily my decision since, uh, uh, Kelly being a member here for, you know, a couple of years at that point, And, uh, she had talked about another program that was going to be starting fit in 42. Um, and she kind of threw down the gauntlet with the, um, well, her, her and Brenda. So one of the coaches, a uh, friend of ours. So I uh, had kind of thrown down that gauntlet of, we really think you should do it would be a good competition and, uh, kind of set it up to be that way. So. It was just, I think, the right time for me to, to try to do something, and, and that program worked out pretty well for me. You need to be ready to make make the commitment, yeah. because it is a commitment to get yourself back in shape, yeah. especially as we get older. It's just it's tough time-wise, energy-wise, so many things going on. It just is. So, uh, Jeff mentioned Fit and 42, so I'm just going to take a minute to, to let you all know what Fit and 42 is so you can understand as we talk a little bit here, talk about some. Fit 42 is a 42-day completely immersible program. That means for 42 days, we're going to kind of take over your life because we need to fix things. I mean, everyone comes to our door, um, and when we really think about it, most people really don't know how to exercise correctly, and we want to make sure that they don't hurt themselves. And they're being efficient because we don't have a lot of time, okay? Uh, most people don't eat correctly. I mean, when we really think about it, a lot of us think we know how to eat and, we, and what's the right thing to eat, what's not the right thing but most of us really don't know how to eat correctly, and especially how to eat correctly to change, to transform, transform your bodies and your life. So that's the second part of Fit42. The third thing is we take care of hydration. We make sure you're eating enough. Um, there's a complete meal plan that comes with it. We talk about your stress. We talk about um, just everything about your life that you need to do to transform it. So for 42 days, Jeff was ours. Yep. Okay, so for 42 days, Jeff was ours. So, Let's talk a little bit more about Fit 42. What is it you like about Fit 42? I mean, what, what what did you get out of it? What did you like about it? Yeah, I think it was the fact that it was kind of that that total commitment, that type of a program where it really did um, give us a nice program, a regimented program that we had to follow. Um, you know, I had tried various activities at home. We have a little bit of a home gym. I just tried things periodically. was never able to stick with it. wasn't seeing any results. Um, what the Fit 42 program did for me was um, – by dedicating to that program, and that's what it really took, was dedicating yourself to that, 
you were able to see results or I was able to see results and see those results pretty quickly. Right. Um, and it really did kind of get addictive from that point. So you start to see those gains and you want to continue down that path. Right. Um, so I really like the fact, um, again, it was that program. We did it with a group of, you know, I did it with five other people. So again, it had that little competitive nature mm -hmm. to it as well. Um, you know, if you didn't make it to a, one of those classes, you felt that you were letting the other people down right. um, because they were so committed to what they were doing in the program as well. So the fact that I was able to do that, stay committed and see those gains, it's really what I liked about it. When you did Fit in 42, Jeff did it with you know five other people, his wife, one of our coaches, some friends, and that that camaraderie that was built really helps you feed off of each other to maintain the commitment, to maintain that level of of, of uh, accountability, not just to yourself but to the other people and the other coaches. I, it's one of the best things I think about Fit in 42 is just that that bond you build with the people and those yep. people you know you become friends with and you see at the gym all the time and you push each other and it just and it's a lot of fun yep. believe it or not it's it a lot of fun no matter even though you're you're working hard and you you know you're changing the way you eat and your sleep habits and all that type of stuff really stressing it really becomes a lot of fun yeah which most people can't see exercise as being fun but it was but it was <laughs> it was so so we did fit in 42 i mean what did you lose or gain from fit in 42 um, I think the biggest gain I had was a sense of accomplishment. Again, seeing the fact that if I, if I dedicated myself to a program, um, that I was able to see those results really changed my life. Um, my energy levels went way up. Um, I think Kelly would like to say uh, my attitude completely changed. So, <laughs> I bet. Um, I don't know if I was necessarily always cranky, but I guess I was probably a little bit on the ordinary side prior to going through that. Um, but then doing that program, I'm, I'm a much nicer person now. Um, I would have to say I'm a happier person. Um, definitely living a much cleaner lifestyle. Well, I, I've only known you as been a fun guy. I mean, when you come into the gym <laughs> every day, I mean, Jeff has done a phenomenal job in transforming his life. Not just his body. He lost he lost fat. He gained muscle. He ate straight. Confidence, attitude, all those types of things. And he comes to the gym at 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. He's in a good mood. Yeah. I mean, it's not easy to be in a good mood at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> all right? I have to do it, but it's not easy to do so. So you did fit in 42, you know, we kind of got you on your way, it took us six weeks, got you on your way, but then you, you jumped on another program. Yeah, so, you know, joined the gym um, after doing the, the Fit in 42 program, kind of maintained uh, some of those lessons learned from that. So I think that was another key thing was the fact that I, you know, was I eating as clean as I was during the Fit in 42? Probably not, um, but still kind of maintain those things. And then um, we did the new year, new year, um, as part of the, uh, the transition into the new year and uh, had a, a lot of fun on a, on a team for that particular competition. Um, and again, it, it's just, it was, you dedicate yourself to it, you do the workouts, you do the programs, you kind of watch what you're eating. You know, again, you can you can keep those gains going and I was able to do that. So what, just for what New Year and New Year is for us, um, we, we generally, what we find is that, you know, you can maintain something or, or push for six to eight weeks, four, six, eight weeks. But if you start to try to maintain that and push for 52 days out of the year, for a full 52, probably 52 weeks out of the yep. year, uh, it's difficult. It's very hard. So we we run little programs here and there as we go through. We do this. We do rough and top meltdown. We do uh, fit 42. We do a bunch of things during the year so that you 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 focus for a little while yep. and then you kind of break off for a little bit. And then we come back and we focus again. It's just extremely difficult to stay focused for all that time. So our New Year New Year program is something we do at the beginning of the year, trying to get everybody. You know, back on track from the holidays and things like that. It's a fun it's a contest. It's a yep. fun contest. Uh, typically, three people in a transformation. And you need to be able to transfer who makes the largest, greatest percent body fat change, changes in their body. So, yep. transformations. So, anybody can win. You don't have to be heavy, you can be light, doesn't matter. And um, this guy's won. This guy's won $3,000, which, you know, for all that hard work and effort, not only do you, you again transfer your body again. Yep, it's one three grand. Yeah, which was was just pretty cool. I will take it. I will take, I will take it. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, that's nice. So um, we did that stuff, and now now he's he's like a monster. Honestly, <laughs> I mean, when Jeff is in town, he does travel a lot. He's at the gym. He comes in, gets his workouts in. If he misses the morning, he gets in here at night. Uh, he's really done an awesome job at staying consistent. So. Um, what is it about the Yes Fitness that is able to keep you consistent? Um, I just think it's kind of the variety. Um, the fact that the workouts are changing um, is very, very helpful. Um, and I just, I think it's the people as well. So I, I do enjoy the people, the group of people that I work out with. 
Um, I don't know if they necessarily say the same about me, but I'd like to think <laughs> that they probably would. I'm not. I, I think, again, it's, I think it's that variety. Um, it's. Uh, I think it's the fact that the coaches maintain an interest in how we're doing. They want to make sure that we're we're kind of staying on track, um, and they are genuinely interested in, in how we're doing and um, kind of that we are kind of keeping along the path. I, th I think relationships are really important. Yep. I mean, you have, you have your relationships at home, and you know you develop relationships at the gym, and it, it makes it fun to come to the gym and to know that for us, in my facility, if you're not here, we contact you. Uh, we got to make sure you're coming, right? Yep. Because if you're not coming, you're not going to get results. Nobody's going to have you. But the relationships you develop with coaches and develop to, with the other people in the other room, because we're all we're forty plus. Yep. We're all in the same boat. You know, me myself too. On the same boat, you know, the things that are going on in life. So it's really tough. So I think relationships are extremely important and buddy systems and things like that to help people to, uh, to get where they want to be. You have to be consistent because if you're not consistent in anything in life, you're not going to get results. Whether it's exercise, whether it's work, whether you're learning something, you got to be where you water in your garden, you got to be consistent. So everything's about consistency. So um, I want you to talk to, to a little bit about, you know, you do this. Your wife, you have two two daughters, not young, yeah. but you have yeah. two young daughters. So, I mean, tell me a little bit about that, and you know how that's helped you more. Yeah, so I think it's I think it's really kind of helped me set what I'm hoping is a better example, um, you know, for my kids. You know, they're getting close to, you know, young adulthood, if you will. You know, yeah. you know, one's 20, the other 17. So, um, would like to think that, um, you know, by the by the changes that I was able to make, uh, that they're they're able to see. You know, what they could do at the same time if they, you know, if they get to that point where they're kind of feeling a little bit frustrated with where they are kind of physically, um, emotionally, uh, maybe what they, you know, their eating habits, that they can see what I was able to do, how I can dedicate myself to it and, and make these positive gains, uh, that they would be able to do something similar if it ever got to that point for them. I have to say one of the, one of the proudest things I am, I am in the exercise is that my wife works out and all four of my kids work out in some capacity. One of my daughter runs a gym and and I never really pushed it upon them, but I think that they saw, you know, my lifestyle, what I wanted, and how I've been able to age and things like that. I don't color my hair. I don't color my hair. Um, yeah, neither do I. Neither do I. <laughs> but I, I think that, you know, it's one of, the, one of the most proud things I have of my kids. They've all taken upon that lifestyle to try to, to eat, you know, generally better. Eighty percent of the time, they eat well. Yep. Uh, they do get exercise in. They each do their own thing, whatever they do, and I don't, I don't push them. I'll give them advice if they want it, but... You know, your kids at that age yeah. you really can influence them and where they go in life and what they do. And uh, I know both of you, you girls are real smart, do real, real well in school, and you're active, and you're, you're social, and you're good grounded kids. And that's because you guys, you know, you and Kelly do a great job. It's mostly their mother. Okay, okay. we'll give credit to <laughs> Kelly. Go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we know where to give the right credit, right? Yeah. <laughs> so um, you've been here now in about nine months. Yep. Um, where, where are you headed with this thing? So you, you're going to have some challenges right now because it's the summer, yep. right? And um, so tell me a little bit about the summer's challenges for you, well, you and Kelly. Yeah, so it, it, it's 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 tough, right? So we, we do have the vacation house or the summer home. So, uh, you know, we obviously have people stopping by, and, and obviously that leads to then, you know, maybe some different cheats that you might want to do throughout the course of the summer. you got to enjoy life. We do. So I think that's really kind of what it's led to is it's, you know, I don't, necessarily feel guilty when we're doing the cheats right you know you think about it maybe a little bit more um but you have to realize that there is that balance so you know we, we put the work in we've done the exercising so that when you do those cheats it, it's not as bad and then you just realize that okay monday morning you're gonna get yourself back to the gym you're gonna get yourself right. dedicated to eat clean again right. um and then when uh friends do stop by you don't feel so bad about having a glass Absolutely. of wine or a cocktail with them yeah. well, you, well you've made such great changes okay I, I don't know if you're looking to make more. I, I think you're fantastic. I think your body composition is is in line for sure. Yeah. Are you like 18? I, I think it was 18, 18 maybe even 17. 17% percent body fat, which is fantastic for a male his age. Fantastic for any male, any age. Um, so to make change, you got to be really good. But I've always said it's easier once you get there because you can have those cheats. You can have, you know, a glass of wine or a drink, whatever it might be. You can have your meals. You can have your friends over and you enjoy that night. And and what people don't realize is that that cheat actually um, boosts your metabolism, makes you feel good mentally, physically. And you might go up a little bit in the scale weight. Typically, that's a little bit of water weight because of, of the extra sodium you're probably taking in. And before you know it, you're back to the gym. You're moving, scale didn't budge. 
and had a great time and you just you move along. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, it's so important in life for people to realize that you can get somewhere. It takes a lot of work to get there, but once you're there, as long as you're paying attention, you can enjoy life. Yeah. I mean, I, but people don't think I think I eat perfect all the time. I don't eat perfect all the time. Yeah, I've been known to have a, you know, a beer here and there, yeah. but, um, but I know that I need to get back to what I've done. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Keep moving. Keep eating the way I'm supposed to eat. 80, 20 rule, and you'll be all set. So, um, And then when you want to kind of get back into it, do another challenge program. Just do another challenge program. So we're, you know, we're coming up to the fall. Uh, we're coming out of the summer. We're going to do our Fit and 42 program again. It starts, uh, I want to say, Monday, August 27th. And once we have Fit and 42 going, then we're going to roll into our D2S challenge, which is drop two gene sizes. So you drop two giant gene sizes literally in, in eight weeks. You come in, you bring us a pair of jeans you cannot button. Eight weeks later, you put them on, you're comfortable, you can wear I know it's hard to believe what we've done it year in and year out for a, a ton of people. Um, and then when they're all rolled out and done, then we do, um, we're probably going to do our holiday hold'em, um, which is between Thanksgiving and Christmas, which just tries to keep people focused during those holidays. So again, just so you can maintain where you're at and still enjoy the holidays. So we have different things rolling out for the fall. I know Jeff is going to partake in it a little bit because he's uh, he's dedicated to keeping more the gains he made. I mean, you yeah. do all that hard work, and then right. what do you do? You want to be able to maintain it. You want to be able to maintain it. So, um, I I don't have anything else today, Jeff. But I appreciate you coming down a second time and talking to me. <laughs> uh, your story is amazing. It's one that I hope that'll inspire other people to do the same because it can be done. It can be done at any age, um, any age from age forty up into their eighties. We have people in their eighties changing their lives and yeah. changing their trends transforming your life so i appreciate your time thanks Thank you. buddy i really enjoyed training so look for more insights on how to get fit feel younger live better on tuesday nights at 4 45 from us down here yes fitness thanks for watching